So, the further part of the lesson, question 4 and question 5. Let's read question number 4. Look at the picture. There is a rope and it is written that it's $3 per yard. So, if you will buy one yard, you will pay $3. And if you will buy two yards, you will pay three plus three equals six or three multiply two equals six. Now, what is the question? Trish bought four yards of rope to make a swing. Judy spends $18 on the rope. How much did the two girls spend in all? So S is equal to the total spend. S is unknown. We have to find out. How? First of all, uh, what multiply what means? So how many uh, yards she bought? Look in the question. It's given there. Trish bought how many yards of the rope? Yes, it's four. And each yard is equal to how many dollars? Yes, it's three. So four multiply three plus how? much rob how much is uh, judy spent on the rob yes it's 18 so that is the equation for this 4 multiply 3 plus 18 we will have a look on the answers in a while so first question number five martha has 12 stamps tony has 21 stamps so two persons we have in the question, Martha and Tony. Martha is having 12 and Tony is having 21. Then Tony divides her stem into three equal groups. How many equal groups? Three equal groups. So she gives one group to Martha. How many stems does Martha have now? So, M is equal to Martha's stamps now, which we have to find out. So, first of all, Martha was having how many? 12. Then, Tony had how many? 21. And he divided 21 stamps into how many equal groups? Yes, that's 3. So, now you will divide 21 and 3 and then you will add let's have a look on the answers so question four she bought four yard and each yard was three dollar plus 18 which judy spends so four multiply three twelve and then we will add 18 so equal uh, s is equal to thirty dollars that were spent in all and question number five twelve Martha was having already plus 21 Tony has. He divided them into three equal groups. Now 21 divided by 3, we know it's equal to 7. Then add 7 to 12. So Martha has 19 stamps now. Next page. Question 6. If we look at the pictures, we see the bag of orange and it has 10 oranges and bag for 10 oranges is equal to $4. A bag of 9 apples is equal to $3 and the bag of 6 lemons is equal to $3. Let's read the question. Morris needs 36 apples for his party. How much will the apples cost write equations to solve use a letter to represent the unknown quantity so you can use any letter to show the unknown quantity here i'm taking c that is equal to the cost of the apples so how many apples he needs morris needs 36 apples divided by each bag has how many apples nine and what is the price per bag? Multiply by 3. Yes. So you will solve the division first. 36 divided by 9 is equal to 4. And then multiply by 3. So the total cost for 36 apples will be $12. Now question 7. Delia bought 24 lemons and 63 apples. How much did she spend on fruits? So first of all, we'll solve about the lemons. 
and how many lemons she bought is 24 divided by 6 lemons in a bag and multiply by each bag is for $3 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4 and multiply 3 so she spent on lemons $12 now coming to apples how many apples she bought 63 apples divided by 9 apples per bag multiply by each bag is for $3 so T is equal to $21 she spent $21 on apple so now we have two uh, amounts $12 for lemons and $21 for apples we will add the two amounts and we will get the total cost she spent on the fruits and that is $33 you can see in the blue color okay question 8 fill in the blanks when you dash 70 uh, sorry 72 to the nearest tens you get 70 so when you round this is rounding by nearest tens so when we round 72 to nearest tens we get 70 why because 2 is less than 5 so uh, when a number on the ones place is less than 5 we round it to the smaller side we round it to the 70 not 80 so when you round 72 to the nearest tens you get 70 number question number 9 Carla collected 328 shells, Dan collected 176 shells. How can you use compatible numbers to estimate how many shells they collected? So when it comes to using the compatible numbers, you can round them to the nearest tens or you can round them to the nearest hundreds to find out the estimate answer. So here what I am doing, I am rounding them to the nearest hundreds sorry there is a mistake in writing it's not tens it's hundreds so 328 because 28 is less than 50 so 328 will become 300 and 176 if I look at 76 which is greater than 50 so 176 will be rounded to as 200 so if I add both numbers that is equal to 500 so about 500 shells were collected we have to use word about with 500 because we are estimating the answer this is not a correct answer this is the estimated answer thank you very much I am finishing the lesson here and please look at your online assignment for the homework of this lesson and then we will meet with a new video for the new lesson.